everybody welcome back to the all things good channel and to vlogmas day two i'm still so excited well i've been doing a few more bits and pieces around the house today i have had a nice delivery of some little trees to go at my front door so i'm going to sort out some little lights to put on those and i shall show you those when it gets dark later on uh, been out shopping, been to the charity shop and donated some stuff there and all in all had quite a busy day. So let's get into today's Vlogmas video. Hope you enjoy it. Does anybody else have their doormats like this? Kind of the wrong way round, but it's the right way round. When you come into the house, or should I have it the other way round? So that it's the right way round in the house. <laughs> what would you do? I think that's right, isn't it? So it's the right way around when you come in the house and not the wrong way around. But it's the wrong way around when you're in the house, but it's not the wrong way around when you're out the house coming in the house. Oh, I don't know. I'm stressed, I give up. So whilst I was at work today, a delivery came from a company called Gardening Express. I will link the description down below. And as you can see, I have bought two lovely little potted Christmas trees that are going to go at my front door. I'm just still opening them up and I don't want to get too much dirt. Hello, Myla, on the rug here in the hallway. So I shall carry on opening them up outside, but they're beautiful, absolutely stunning, green, vivid. Hope you can see that on the camera. And I mean, I'm going to put some little outdoor twinkly lights on them as well. And they will just sit either side of my front door. There's the front door. Um, obviously at the front so they are lovely I'll link the description prices below and of course afterwards I can pop them in the back garden and you never know next year we might be having one of these inside depending on how they grow but I'm very pleased with them they look very very healthy Myla's keen as well so how are you all how are the Christmas arrangements coming on hope you're um, all starting to get into it a little bit now and while I'm here, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel in the past week or so, a few days actually, um, a lot of which is because of Tony Interior, who very kindly gave me a little mention on her video a few days ago. I think it was last Sunday or Monday. I'm losing track of the days, everybody. I'm starting to lose track of the days. And that is because Tony and I are going to be doing a collaboration throughout Vlogmas, which I am so excited about. And I was so excited to hear from her. And she approached me and asked me if I'd like to do a collaboration with her. Well, I wasn't gonna say no, was I? I love Tony's channel. I love her online shops, her website. I followed her for a long time, actually. And she's such a lovely lady. And I was quite overwhelmed when she got in touch. So yes, there is going to be a collaboration. I'm not sure what day it is yet. It's gonna to wave to that man. Thank you so much. Oh, some people are so courteous, aren't they, in their cars? Some people are not. Um, and I don't know what day it's going to be yet, but keep watching because we are doing something together, which I'm super excited about. And because of Tony mentioning this in her video the other day, I've had a lot of new subscribers um, on my channel. So welcome if you are new and welcome back if you're one of my regulars. Super pleased to have you all here and I'm really grateful. And I didn't start this channel to get lots of subscribers. If you go back a couple of videos, I kind of explain why I started this channel and what it's bringing to me at the moment. Um, I'm just really enjoying it and it's really got me through the last year. It's given me something to focus on, something to do. And just sharing my life because to some people it might be a very dull life and my ex-partner being the kind of character that he was, he, I think he thought my life was very dull and he was very good at putting me down a lot and actually I'm very 
blessed in my life and I'm very proud of the things I do and, and, and the way I now juggle my life which involves caring for a 92 and a half year old, going to work, keeping my own house. Um, I've been a single parent for a long, long time. Um, I, do, I was divorced from Adam and Grace's dad when they were only five and eight. So I've raised them by myself. I've had my own cancer journey. As you know, my sister passed away with cancer. My dad then passed away. Mom's very elderly. So not getting the violins out. Don't want the sympathy vote. I'm just saying that's, you know, my life is very blessed and I'm happy to share it with everybody because because I try to have a positive outlook no matter what you're going through I think it's important to stay as strong as you can be and be positive and don't get me wrong I have my moments I have my days where I don't feel strong and I don't feel brave and I don't feel confident but I've learned such a lot and I've learned how to appreciate things so much more and that's really you know why I started it and and to not be in a position where I'm being criticized and knocked down or abused basically for things that I like and things that I want to do so when that relationship ended it gave me more of motivation to go well actually this, these are the things that I like and these are the things that I want to do and I'm going to start my YouTube channel and that's where we are and I've had just the most lovely comments from everybody who has, has just said we well, you love your vlogs and and kind of keep going and I will and I'm loving it and the vlogmas journey is obviously something I've not done before because I've not had a YouTube channel up until earlier this year and it's um so it's, this is a whole new experience for me but i'm loving it and i love christmas anyway so why not share it so i just wanted to say a huge great big thank you i'm really grateful and i'm i'm overwhelmed actually everybody's lovely words it's it's super and hopefully i'm i am bringing something to you I'm trying to give a little bit of something back and if you are in a position where life isn't great for you at the moment or there's grief or loss, sadness, um, separation, any of those kind of things. So I'm now just looking for a car parking space. This could be tricky. Um, then if I can bring you a little bit of, a little bit of enjoyment, a little bit of entertainment. Just stalled the car. <laughs> Not in the best place either. Whoops. Then, you know, that's kind of my purpose fulfilled as well so anyway I am going to attempt to find a car parking space here because I'm actually going off to have my nails done now oh there's one there's one left this has got my name on it so thank you thank you thank you what else can I say other than thank you. nails are done oh it's bitter outside Woo. right now off to mother's to help her a little bit. She's got a few little lights she wants putting at the front of the house and in her back garden. So I'm just gonna do those, hoping it's not gonna take too long because it is freezing outside. The temperature has really dropped. It's really, really, really cold. And it's been really foggy as well, misty in the mornings. So we're uh, well and truly into winter now, but just about arriving at mom's just driving past my house this is how close i live to mom okay so i am now at the front of my house just let this lady past it's a very tight road and then all i have to do is drive around the corner like this and drive around this corner and i'm here at mom's isn't that great? And this house that mum lives in used to be mine. This is the house I bought 
when I first got divorced. So it's really little because it was all I could afford, but the children were really little when I got divorced. So they didn't need big bedrooms and we didn't need lots of space. It's got a nice lot of space at the front. It's got a little field and a meadow. So that was great. Certainly for Adam kicking a football about, things like that. But when I just, when my dad died and mom came over here, she's so familiar with my old house. Um, you know, there's happy memories in there. Everybody's been there. My sister loved it here. So it was home from home for mom really. So it made sense. And the house that I've bought just around the corner just came up for sale just as my dad passed away and all this happened. So it was a bit of a no brainer really. So I moved around the corner and mom moved into my original house. So this house has, has done us a lot of favors. As I say, I found it when I got divorced and it was just in the right area, just the right price at the time and and now it's mum's and it's ideal for her because it's not too big it's not too small it's not a bungalow she didn't want a bungalow but she's still very mobile and agile and active which is great and um she loves it so let's get in there or get in the garden mm -hmm. and let's put some christmas decorations or put some lights up my word it's gone so cold it's gone so cold i'm not going to show you mum's garden lights today because actually when i was down there it was still light so you wouldn't have been able to see them anyway but i'll show you those another day but we've just put a few little bits at the front of the house and some little lights in the back garden on one of her bushes in the flower bed area so that's keeping her happy for today so i'm going to make a bit of dinner now well, I know the security light is in the way, but I just wanted to show you. It's half past four, so it's just got dark. But I just wanted to show you how you can see the Christmas tree. There, through the windows in the lounge. It's pretty, isn't it? But I can't do anything about the security light, because while I'm standing here, it will be on. And that, well, that's another story. Grace's Christmas present. Well, actually, it's for everybody, but... Grace wanted a hot tub. So a very good friend of mine called Dan, who's the local handyman, came and put this up at the weekend for me. It hasn't got any water in yet. I've just bought the chemicals to go in it as well, but we might, we might go in it over Christmas, maybe New Year. I might put a little gazebo up perhaps and maybe some twinkly lights as well. But yes, we have a hot tub. What was I thinking? So the lovely handyman Dan, who put the hot tub up for me, has also put some kitchen shelves up for me this week, which I've wanted for a long time. I needed a bit of something on this wall. It was a little bit plain, but it's given me the extra bit of storage and display sh space, really. So I've put a few little Christmas things up there already. It's probably not how it's going to look. I am going to dress it a little bit, perhaps. But there we have it with my lovely new look, Tony Interior Oil Burner. So as well as myself working very hard over Christmas, the other thing that works very hard over Christmas, of course, is your dishwasher. So today I'm going to give it a very good internal clean. Very simply, I just use supermarket citric acid. I just need one box. And what you need to do is obviously make sure your dishwasher is completely empty. Mine had a stray bowl, so we got rid of that. I got rid of the old air freshener because I can buy a new one of those when I go shopping tomorrow. And earlier on today, I also cleaned out all the filters at the bottom of the dishwasher. I got all the pieces out and gave them a good clean wash in the sink bowl. Then I put new salt in. I did spill a bit at the bottom, but that doesn't matter. Then what you need to do is just put the citric acid into the little hole here where you'd put your dishwashing tablet. Fill it up. Probably best you wear gloves when you do this as well, although I didn't, but I was very careful to make sure I didn't touch any of it. And then the rest of the box you simply sprinkle at the bottom of the dishwasher.
Then you want to pick a really hot program. I have gone for the hottest on my dishwash actually, but it's not the longest running program. So let that do its thing. And then when it's finished, your dishwasher will be lovely, sparkly and clean, and it will smell really fresh. But that's not the end of it. What I then do is I spray all the inside of the dishwasher with some white vinegar. This way you can wipe all the little bits and pieces that don't get quite caught during the cycle and the white vinegar just brings off any dirt or grime or any food that has stuck to the little edges or the corners or the lip of the door gets rid of it really quickly and really easily. Then I spray a little bit more white vinegar just on the whole of the inside of the rest of the dishwasher. I then put in a new dishwasher tablet and run a cool, a quick cycle, and then you'll have a gleaming and fresh smelling dishwasher. So I found the lights for the little trees at the front. I think that's just right. When it's dark, it'll look pretty. So here we are having our little moment on the bed this evening. Hope you've enjoyed day two of Vlogmas. I'm really enjoying doing it so far. I'm absolutely exhausted already, but that's okay. It's just that there's a lot to do to begin with, isn't there? When you first put the Christmas decorations up, you think I do a lot of tidying up and cleaning up and putting things away and on top of keeping your household going as you normally do. So I'm sure it'll settle down in a bit. But this, do you like my new top? This is pink. You can't see it, but it's got lots of little glitzy silver bits in it. And it's lovely and long and cosy and warm. And Grace bought me this yesterday. She came home from the shops. I bought you a present, Mom. And apparently it's from H&M, so I'll try and find out all the details, perhaps link it down in tomorrow's video for you. But it's lovely and it's really warm and because it's bitterly cold outside here at the moment. But yeah, day two is done. Tick, tick, tick. My God, these days are going to go quick, aren't they? <laughs> I've got a lot to do. but I'm loving it so far. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you do like the Vlogmas videos and any of my videos, please like and subscribe and share. And until tomorrow, which is not that far away, is it? <sighs> it's really not that far away. Until tomorrow, have a lovely evening. Stay safe. Stay in the boat. Do all things good. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, day three of Vlogmas. Take care. Bye.